I've never filmed myself thinking about a project because that sounds boring if you think about it but I want to start have having uh, design meetings we're having we're in a meeting right now okay so you can put in the comments like what you think of good design is I'm gonna explain the best idea I could think of and I'm sure a lot of you ha will have better ideas here's the situation I need to make my website scalable so that I can put multiple web applications on my website so uh <laughs> I'm using Node.js. I'm also using the Express framework. Our main server file is app.js, which is this big, messy, messy, messy file. All API requests go through the slash API route. Anytime that you type a route that doesn't start with slash API, it tries to grab HTML. And then once you scroll down, you can see that we have like some API routes here. But now what happens if you want to all of a sudden integrate a web application? So look at this, fetch description and then there's a whole authentication process here and then there's like a get channel process here in this single server file we have the back end for our main website we have the front end for our main website and we have another application so we're, we have like three things going on somebody who's developing the front end could mess up the back end like they can interfere with each other which is which just gets like all sorts of messed up we want to have the back end and the front end to run separately. We want them to run on separate servers and we want every web application to also be on its on a separate server. That means that our servers need to talk to each other. We would ideally like a system that has our front end over here, back end. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of web apps. Nginx allows servers to talk to each other. What's going to happen is every request is going to go into Nginx and then Nginx is gonna decide where it goes. Should it go to the front end or should it go to the YouTube descriptions updater? Like every application can be developed by itself. That way they don't mess each other up. And if I want to develop a new web application, everything else stays the same. And all I do is I say, Nginx point to the web application. What if I only have one server? Well, I only have one server as well. Port 8080 can have my front end. Port 8081 can have my back end for my main website. Port 8082 can have my YouTube descriptions updater. Like we don't wanna use this file for anything related to the front end. What are we gonna use for our front end? Well, I have been doing a ton of research. I know that React is, is a super popular JavaScript library for building user interfaces, but I've found this cool framework called Next.js. Next.js is a lightweight framework for static and server rendered application. We don't have to worry about routing much and the app is rendered on the server by default. Simple client side routing, able to implement with Express or any other Node.js HTTP server. The more I started reading about this, the more I was like, oh my God, this is exactly what I was looking for. When somebody types a link on my website, if it starts with slash API, we send them to the backend server via an Nginx proxy pass. Once we get to the backend server, everything is relative to the backend server. This is perfect for independently working on backend development as we can easily connect it to our front end with Nginx. If the link does not start with API, our server will assume we want to fetch the front end and it will send us to the front end server, which will render our HTML via the next.js framework. So it's, it's the next day. I just figured I should probably create some drawings for you guys so you can see what the, uh, how it all comes together. Microsoft Paint here, and we're just gonna go crazy, bro. We're getting some music up in here. The beginning of scalability. Okay, so after about an hour, 
I have gone hardcore in paint. So I'm gonna zoom way in. <laughs> Yo, I don't know why I did this in paint because now everything's so pixelated. Our current server, if you remember, single express app serves all data. Um, in this situation, all of the requests go to Nginx, looks at the request and then it says, oh, we're, we're, we are we want to go to the homepage. So send us to the front end server. Um, if we want to go to the API, send us to port 8081. When we look at our YouTube descriptions updater, all of this is going to be, its, it can be developed as its own website. You can see how this system is much more scalable. So let's look at a way more complicated example. Off the top of my head, <laughs> this took me a while to actually create in paint. All the requests are going to go into Nginx. This system has many servers. These two backend servers are both for our main website. So these are like duplicates, which means our load balancer is able to route to this one or our load balancer is able to route to this one so we have a load balancer for the front end server we have a load balancer for our database so i think last but not least we need to host our static files somewhere so if we have images videos you know so in a complex system they get way more way more complex than this there's so much about this project that i don't currently know how to do like react next.js I'm basically just going to spend the next few weeks diving headfirst into these concepts, probably filming it, you know, which is why I'm so excited to share with you guys today's sponsor, Brilliant.org. It's the first website I've seen that really resonates with my belief of learning science and mathematics through practical applications. Instead of memorizing formulas, a cough cough school, Brilliant's goal is to build intuition in problem solving. And that's exactly what I've been doing in my personal projects. And that's why I feel like I'm so confident to take on any task and I can just learn whatever I want. If you're new to programming or want to feel a little more confident, I would recommend the computer science fundamentals or computer science algorithms courses. If you want to support my channel and learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash Devin Crawford and sign up for free. Also, the first 200 people who go to that link will get 20% off their premium subscription. And it's honestly the coolest thing, man. I wish I, I found out about this three years ago when I'm just scavenging through the internet for knowledge and it took me countless hours. So yeah, thank you guys for, for watching this video and keeping along with my journey of teaching myself all this stuff. You guys are just gonna have to subscribe to see my progress of, of, of this, I don't know.